we're going to kind of do some movement with our bodies today. And I apologize, Carrie, if you can't do all of these because you're sitting at a desk. Uh, I never know if you're going to be here or not. And just so happens. Well, um, but anyway, yeah. so feel free if you haven't already, go ahead and mute yourself. And if you want to turn off your camera, you can because we're going to be we're going to be reaching and we're going to be swaying and, and doing a few things like that. And that might make people feel silly to be watched by other people. But I'll do it for you instead. <laughs> so first, I just would like for you to just kind of give your body a little shake here. If you want to close your eyes, you can. And take a nice deep breath in. It doesn't matter how you let it out. Oh, it could be sound. It could be just breath. It could have movement. It doesn't matter. And allow yourself to just breathe well, however your body needs it right now. And begin to allow your body to sway, just back and forth. If you need to stabilize yourself by putting your hands on your knees or your thighs, and see if you can allow a little bit more flexibility in your spine as you go left to right. And maybe you notice your neck wants to get into it. But kind of like you're leading with your shoulder and the rest of your body follows that shoulder. Just kind of feel it in your lower back, in your abdomen. Maybe you can really kind of reach up and over with your shoulders slightly, so it's kind of up and over, and that stretches out your ribs a little bit. And now, if you're sitting in a chair, you might need to move a smidge forward so that you can rotate a little bit, but Again, with your shoulders, or maybe the center of your chest would be a better point to focus on, you're going to draw circles. And so you're going to move out, back, and around using that point on your chest to draw a big circle. I'm going to do this one more time, and then we're going to change directions. Whichever direction you started in, now go in the opposite direction. Again, using that point. And this actually helps with digestion. It can help with breathing and flexibility, but it gets you moving in a different way. Even if you were to go running right now, which I don't know if any of us would do that, but <laughs> uh, it actually gets your blood moving and your muscles moving in a way that something like running wouldn't. So go ahead and allow your body to just relax for a moment after that. Maybe you notice that you feel a little more alive. Maybe you notice some tingles or maybe even a small little smile wants to pop up onto your face. Now go ahead and take your arms and reach up, straight up, kind of pulling your ribs out of place where they were so that you're really stretching up high and allow your arms to stretch out to the sides. And it's kind of imagining that the energy from your body is going up through your hands and then pushing outward with your hands as you come out through that starburst. So we're going to do that a couple more times, just reaching up almost like you're trying to touch the ceiling above you and then reaching out like you're trying to touch the walls to either side of you, even though you most likely cannot. We'll do that one more time, reaching up towards the ceiling, really reaching for it and allowing that starburst to come out through. Maybe you're exhaling at the same time. And then allow yourself to sit with your hand on your head and just feel the weight gently there, grounding you. And then allow your left ear to gently move toward your left shoulder, dropping your hand back down so you're just stretching your neck. And from here, I'm gonna have you gently open your eyes if they're closed and look up towards the ceiling, keeping your head at this tilt. And it doesn't have to be 
straining your eyes straight up. Mine are probably at a 45 degree angle looking at the, where the ceiling meets the wall out in front of me. And that doesn't quite do it. I need to bring it a little higher towards that, but not straining. And there it is. You might find yourself yawning or getting a little twitch and shiver. And once that happens, allow yourself to come back upright and tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. And again, when you're ready, bringing your eyes up towards the ceiling more. Not straining, but definitely giving yourself a little bit of a stretch in the neck and with the eyes until there's that yawn. And that's your nervous system releasing and allowing you to come into a more peaceful and centered space. And once you're done with that, go ahead and allow yourself to just sit back up and shake it out a little bit. Put a smile on your face, kind of rewarding yourself for what you just did. And when you're ready, go ahead and come on back. <laughs>